started again and she did this. She poured pepper water on her. What? Vivian did this? You heard me. Vivian did this. She has gone too far. I mean, she overstepped her boundaries this time and, and I couldn't take it anymore. What do you mean by you couldn't take it anymore? I couldn't take the rubbish anymore, so, so I dealt with her. I've beaten your wife to stupor. I flogged the living daylight out of her. I mean, I couldn't take it. Oh, yeah, my is the lie. Yeah, you have to be mad every time. You must be mad. Are you the only one that can be mad? Rubbish. Someone you employed, if, if she dies in this house, who takes the blame? Because of your craziness. It's not really that thing. Coming up with, I hope you are ready, Mark. Cause I swear to God, 
my son. Your daughter has been beaten, slapping, hitting people, and nobody has said anything. You have the ghost to come and arrest my son? Arrest who? This crazy woman here instigated her son to the extent that he pulled out his belt and beat your daughter to stupor. She's in pain now as we speak. And you did not tell me? Why? Why would I tell you? Why you always find a way to, to, to support their useless family? My daughter is crying now with bruises all over her body. I want you to keep quiet. I will not keep quiet. Ben has no right to hit my daughter. But I believe my daughter must have done something. What did she do that was so bad? Let me tell you what she did. She hired a house help and brought to the house. Nobody said anything. We don't even know what transpired between the two of them. The next thing we saw is that she had to beat this girl mercilessly. Pour pepper inside a big bowl of water and poured on her. This infuriated Ben. Ben had to beat her. I never said that what my son did was right. But she went to the extent of coming to arrest my son at home. I don't like it. What your daughter did too is punishable under the law. Is peace ever possible in that house? Look here, Stella. You have just tonight to get that boy released from police custody. Whatever he did is wrong. And we're going to settle this as a family. Because your daughter also has done wrong. I am going nowhere. Nobody is releasing him from police custody. Then wait for my wrath. If that boy is not released in the next 24 hours, then don't bother step foot into this compound. What? You heard me and you heard her. When your daughter raised her hand against her husband, they didn't report to the police, neither did they report to the elders. We handle this issue as a family. Now, when issues like this come up, we should sort it out as a family. No police should be involved. And Ben is going to be punished for what he did, because he is wrong, and so is your daughter. Now, two wrongs cannot make a right. And for you to bring in your own stupidity into it, makes it three wrongs. Because if you don't, you are going to have me to contend with. And I am sure you won't want that. It is night already. Let me start going. By dawn, my son is not released. You see, whatsoever that is rocking that table that is remaining, we are going to break the whole legs. Stella, don't push my buttons. That I am quiet. I no longer play this game does not mean that I have lost touch of how to play it. If you dare me, if you dare me, you will see my other side. Are you still supporting her? You heard me and you heard her. If by dawn that boy is not home, I will face this matter in my full regalia. And you don't want that, Stella. You don't. Releasing Ben because with what he did to my wife, I will never forgive him. And I will not forgive you, you for what she did to this family. Mama, obviously, your wife has brainwashed your head. And you think that the best thing to do is to, is to arrest your own blood, brother? He huh? deserves it. He deserves it for why would, why would he raise his hand to my wife? Oh, your wife has the right to raise her hands on everybody in the house, right? She has the right to slap and beat anyone in the house. Oju is not her mate. Why will she hit her? Is it because she's walking here? Mark, I have kept quiet in this house for too long. I think it is high time I cut my feet yes. in this house. If you cannot take responsibilities about the affairs in this house, I, your mother, will take the whole responsibilities concerning this house. 
You must put your wife in check. I gave you and your mother-in-law till tomorrow morning. Yes. My son has to come back to this house. Good. Otherwise, I will make you to understand that no matter how much I love you, I can never put you above my son. Do you understand me? Both of you are equal. Both of you are equal to me. Yes. You cannot be moving around freely out of jail. And you allow my son to remain there. My son should be released yes. tomorrow morning. And that is what I have said. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Oh, nice one, Mama. Mama, this is where you have placed me. No. Mama, this is what I've been waiting for. So you have you you have been looking for every opportunity to remind me that I am not your son. You can say whatever you want from those lines. But the last time I checked, she said that both of you are equal to her, which means that there is no one greater than the other one. But of course, your miserable wife has brainwashed the, the, the brain in your skull. And you now feel that the best thing to do is to take sides with her and then second guess your own. I am not second guessing, Mama! I am not! All of you are looking for opportunities to throw me out of this house. You guys are looking for the slightest opportunity to turn your back against me. But guess what? This is never going to work. Oh. I am not going anywhere! Oh! Now you are in support of your wife! Isn't it? Amak! She's my wife and she's my responsibility! We are your family! And we are your responsibility! Oh! If you love and respect your wife, it's fine! But you also have to love and respect we, your family! Your wife is biting more than she can chew. And I refuse to accept that, Mark! So what are you going to do? What, is, what, is, what the hell are you going to do to me? <laughs> Mark, mind the way you come close to me because you know me. Something might happen. Something might happen to you! You're biting more than you can chew, Helen. <laughs> Just like mother said, if Ben does not come to this house tomorrow morning, <laughs> our market will be let loose. I will destroy everything that is left in this house, and you know me. If Ben doesn't come back into this house, <laughs> your wife will not come back to this house. Mm. And you know me, you know what I can do. Wait, are you, are you threatening to kill my wife? Oh, I haven't even started, and you're already, you're already shaking. <laughs> I will not just threaten to kill your wife. Hmm? I will go to the hospital and I will struggle her to death. You know what I can do, Mark? So do not push me to the wall. Wait, are you, are you? So you all are ganging up against me. <clears throat> have you not gone to the other side, Mark? You have decided to go to, to the other side. Is that not so? Anyway, that is your choice. Look, let me tell you, I will no longer allow my children to suffer in this house anymore because of your useless choices. Good. Do you hear me? If you do not put, put your wife in check, I will let loose my children and let what will be, be in this house. Yes, mother. What? You are drinking? You are drinking. Weakling. Weakling, miserable. You know what? You know what? Mm. I've had enough of. Everything. It's time for all of you to leave this house. Oh, really? <laughs> if there's anybody to leave this house, then it's you and your godforsaken wife. And if you say you will not leave this house, then I promise you, this house will consume you. It will be too hot for you to handle because you know why? If it's not the police coming, it's the doctors that are coming. I, Helen, I will not back down. You know me. I don't make empty threats. When I say something, I mean it. It's a promise that I am about to achieve. If Ben doesn't come back to this house, Mark, I dare you, I will do something to you and your wife and you all will never forget. Ben! Oh. Yes! Your hand on it! Weakling! 